All right, so the, the reason why I had even like just deleted Instagram, deleted Facebook, deleted TikTok, deleted Snapchat, deleted everything in the first place was just like, after a while, you kind of just start to feel yourself getting just, you, 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 you have just like an epiphany, I feel like, where you just wake up and you're like, man, we use these, these applications in every single part of our day to where it's like part of your routine. You just wake up and you just immediately open the phone, right? And you just, you just automatically, like your brain is programmed to go and do that. And when your mind, it, I don't give a shit what you set your feed to follow or what you set your feed to consume. Eventually, you're gonna start to see stuff on your feed that you didn't wanna look for or things that you didn't ask to see. And then you just realize that your emotions are being manipulated by a system, you know, by an algorithm. And you just get exposed to so much like drama, so much like stuff going on in the world that you didn't ask to see. And then now your mood is messed up, you know? Or now you have like negative thoughts in your mind that you didn't have before type shit. The first part could literally just be wrapped up as like, social media is not good for you. <laughs> That's pretty much the best way I can sum it up for you. It's not good for you. But to get on to the second part, uh, you know, really I would just say like, like guys, right? Like maybe maybe I'm an asshole when I say this, but I feel like most dudes are just like straight up bitches today, you know? Like like low testosterone energy type shit. And I feel like a lot of guys in society nowadays are being heavily feminized with a lot of the stuff that's just all over social media that people are just constantly consuming. You know, guys don't want to work out, they don't want to work, they don't want to work hard. Maybe if they if, if it's for a girl or maybe it's for some booty you know they'll get motivated to do something but they don't have no drive like there's no men spaces really much anymore to where like dudes could come together and like motivate each other there's a few of them and there's a couple of channels out there that i follow where i look at that kind of stuff um, and i talk to people in some of those communities but you know they're very few and far in between you know most guys are struggling because there's they're just their their energy of trying to be a man or being masculine gets just like stunted and there's too many dudes out there that are just so fucking desperate for like female validation female attention uh and just doing anything to get some fucking booty <laughs> i don't know like <laughs> whenever you as a guy start to go and do shit for you rather than doing it just because you think it's gonna make women more attracted to you it does something to your mind and it opens up something uh inside of you like mentally you know for me i like to work out i like to work out i like to study i like to improve myself i like to do as much as i can to become a, a better person you know even whenever i fuck up or i make mistakes i try to work hard to make sure that i don't make those same mistakes in the future a lot of guys are just straight up like low testosterone pussies like they're soft and you know, and for any guys that are listening, I suggest you learn how to fight. Learn, go take a martial art. Go fucking uh, work hard, bro. Like, don't go to the gym and work out so you can get women. Work out for you so you can have a healthy body. Um, shit, like, that can get deeper into that, but I'm not. I'm trying to just bounce between the topics. The next one I would say, like, would be the dating culture. So, for me, I'm 30, right? I don't have any patience. I don't have any care in the world anymore to be trying to chase relationships trying to chase dating trying to chase you know being with somebody maybe maybe in the future and that's a big ass maybe right because i just i don't have the patience for it but i think that i think that you know social media you know liking girls' pictures and looking at that shit and just constantly susceptible your mind to like you're gonna see it even if you don't follow it. you're gonna have somebody twerking on your feed or some OnlyFans girl promoting that shit. It's a degenerate society. Everybody, almost in every fucking country nowadays is doing some shit like that. Um, the quality of, of women out there nowadays is fucking horrible. You know, they they don't really bring much of anything to, I think, a, an established man's life besides drama, besides problems, and besides trouble. Most women that I meet really, like, there's no point in me having conversation with you. Most of them don't really have any hobbies or anything really going for them. I've met a couple of really cool girls that I'm that I'm friends with, 
and a few of them that I've talked to, but most chicks, they just consume social media, they consume mindless drama stuff online, they like to fight, they like to argue, they like to jump from guy to guy, they don't, they don't really know how to actually love dudes, they don't understand how hard we have it in Western society, so why are you going to try to pair yourself with somebody that's going to destroy you, you know? And leave the dating apps alone, bro. Delete that shit. It's all just a fucking gimmick. It's a game just to, like, play on you, bro. Like, it's all bullshit, you know? Leave that shit alone. Don't download no dating apps. Don't be caught swiping on no shit or nothing like that. Leave that alone. Let the girls have that, you know? You should be, as a guy, you should be focused on trying to get your life together. You should be focused on trying to get yourself right and focused on trying to build a good future for yourself, you know? And then another part of this from, like, a music perspective, too is just like, I don't care to be fucking famous. I don't care to have thousands and thousands of people listening to me, I don't care. Like, if people are, I, well, I'm so grateful for the ones that are listening now, you know, because I've been away for a bit, but people are still fucking with it. People are still there, people are still showing love, people are still commenting, you know, people are still doing their thing and all that shit like that. But at the end of the day, like, all the stuff that I'm doing now, it's, it's pretty much for my sanity right i just can't be bothered to do anything right now like i i, I opened my phone just to look at my instagram once because i knew there were people who couldn't get a hold of me and sorry these people are cutting fucking grass i knew there were people who couldn't get a hold of me so what i did was i just went to go check it once and my god i was so fucking overwhelmed by the amount of messages i think it was probably over 100 to 200 messages from just people who i don't even care about or i don't even talk to just like, yo, can I get a feature? Or just trying to like ask me for shit. And it's like, God damn, dude. Now I understand why people are the way they are when they use this shit 24 seven. Your mind's being fucking brainwashed, being susceptible to like, people are fucking nosy. Everybody wants to know what you're doing, where you're at, who you're talking to. Like there's people who stalk my fucking social media. They'll fuck, if I make a TikTok, they'll go find it. And look, I'm not saying that if you're a fan of my music, you can't go look at my shit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, my personal life type shit, right? Like, that's the big thing with me is I don't want to have nothing to do with no fucking fame shit because, like I said, people are fucking weird, man. And, and I, I, res I like my peace and I like my tranquility. And sometimes I just... I get anxiety like going to fucking Instagram and like I see my DMs and it's like 24 DMs It's like why who the fuck why why do I have 24 messages who the fuck is trying to talk to me? I don't know. I just think that I, don't, I just don't give a fuck anymore about a lot of things in life, right? Like I'm not on some like oh, I'm sad depressive shit But the way I see it is I just do not care like I could literally die tomorrow and like I don't give a fuck I just think that most people today are fucking weird like straight up i think most people today are fucking like just fucking freakazoids man like i don't know once you get out of the matrix and you break away from this shit and you just look around and you just you see the world once you break free from this shit and you start to like go around you really look at how people are today motherfuckers are weird bro and i don't know maybe like i said I know people who live in different countries and they see a little bit of it, but it's not as bad because their countries are not as westernized, but America is fucking weird, bro. People here are very, like, aggressive. Uh, Americans are not very friendly to each other. People here don't know how to talk to each other. Customer service here sucks at a lot of places, you know, and it really hurts the good people that are out here, you know, trying to keep the, the positive vibes and shit. But overall, most people nowadays are just fucking NPCs they just consume 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 and then they just like spit that shit back out like into the reality i i don't ever be having like no deep conversations with a lot of motherfuckers every once in a while i'll come across somebody that i'm like oh okay they're they're out of this shit like they're awakened you know and i can have real conversations with them but most people they only can have one dimensional conversations and their brains don't really think that deep because they're only just like they're living like through a fucking process right and for me, I don't know. You could just look at how I fucking look, bro. I can't even... I've, I've, I've started to, like, go insane a little bit to where I'm sitting inside. I'm feeling like I need to do something to try to fit in with society. And then I came out today, and I was just looking around. I was like, man, what the fuck? These motherfuckers are fucking, like... I feel like Neo surrounded by fucking a bunch of Agent Smith sometimes, man. And I know for the people that are, that are even watching this shit, you probably feel me too, because... 
motherfuckers, motherfuckers is like, they be weird, bro. Like, I don't know. So really, you know, all I'm doing is working out. I'm still hitting the gym. Boom, you know, we flexing on them. I'm still hitting the gym. I'm studying. I love to study. I'm studying languages and shit like that. And I'm just trying to get everything taken care of properly so that whenever I do start to make certain moves in the future, that I can go in a certain direction that I want to go because I don't know, like, I feel like once you wake up and you see, you start to see things for what they really are, it's like the world around you starts to change and you notice things too well to where you feel like your environment becomes hostile towards your awakening and you got to be on point and stay focused on trying to make a better situation, make a better future and just create peace for yourself, man. Really at the end of the day, that's all it is, is peace. And even when I do come back and I start dropping, you know, more videos and more songs and things like that, I'm still not going to be on there as often. It's not good for you, straight up. If I can, if you could take anything from this, that shit's not good for your fucking health. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your soul to just open your phone and be bombarded constantly with just like waves and waves of like uh, crazy ass news, booty twerking, porn, drugs, guns, like yo. That shit will do something to your mind after a while. And it's brainwashing the rest of the world, man. The West influences everywhere else. And I'm pretty sure there's people from foreign countries that listen to my music. And they will tell you that their country is probably starting to slowly get westernized. Right? I don't even do videos or, or talk about content like this on, on this channel. This is for Taboo, the fucking music stuff. And this is probably the last one y'all will ever get of me talking this in depth. But man... I gotta cook for y'all real quick because a lot of dudes are asleep at the steering wheel in life and a lot of girls are being fucking brainwashed to just follow along with these other girls that are doing fucked up shit you know I don't know man I just had to like ramble off for the one time because I think that people are just y'all gotta wake up stop being like stuck in this system stop being stuck in your fucking phone stop being stuck in the computer i don't want my fan base to be a bunch of brainwashed zombies question everything question the society around you question the people that want you to do something if they if they're trying to convince you to do something you need to ask why you know fuck this new generation and and how they're trying to just destroy us all man and control our minds with all this shit that they try to preach to us just work hard and build your future man because life is short and there's a lot of people out there that will make your path to success 20 times fucking harder <sighs> yeah so 2025 i'll probably be back but thank you man for the ongoing support anyways i'm working behind the scenes so much love to you guys listening to my rambling i'm out of here <laughs>